Joe, I remember back when you first burst on the scene, you dealt with... <laughs> All right, the stage is set for what should be a really good game one as this series gets underway. Introductions wrapping up down on the field and first pitch just minutes away. And we welcome you to the south side of Chicago and guaranteed rate field. MLB The Show brings you the American League Division Series. It's the New York Yankees going up against the Chicago White Sox. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Schaub. Game one is always critical in a postseason series, Singy. Yeah, and this is when you love having home field advantage, Boog. If you capture game one, you're full of confidence that you've got a chance to ride that momentum for the rest of the series. And on the visiting side, starting pitching is always the big key in a game like this to kick off a series. Yeah, you need a strong performance on the mound. That's the number one way to cancel out the home field edge we just mentioned. First pitch coming at you right after the break. About to get started here for game one. And our starting pitcher here today, Dylan Cease. Four-pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order, and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. Up the middle, King. On to first, leadoff hitter gone in the third. Back here at the ballpark, set for the bottom of the third, stepping in the long ball threat, Ahmad King. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Rodone, back to work. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet was my wrist and my hand. Judge is there. One down. Batting done. The catcher. And next to hit for the Sox, Ahmad King. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and that one hammered down the line. If it's fair, it's gone, and that is out of here. An absolutely majestic shot, and they jump out front. It's one nothing. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Here is Glaber Torres. Now back, second base, Glaber Torres. Swing and a bouncer. Whips it across. 
out on a bang bang play but he made it close. Well he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. So up next for Chicago Ahmad King he's already homered here in this one. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up making his way through the minor leagues and quickly at this level an impact player. High fly ball right field. Judge makes the grab and there's two gone. Gior Shella steps in. Hit on the ground might be two. King over to second and that is a rally killer. Two gone in the eighth. Well, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Definitely one of the bigger ones in this game. So that double play is going to be one we look back on when this thing is over. Big time execution, both on the mound and in the field. It's pretty early in this series to say a must win game. But when you've got home field advantage, it's a luxury, but you have to protect it. Huge win in game one to set the tone. Here's another look at the numbers from this shutout victory. Well, it takes a team effort to produce a shutout. I mean, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. And a 1-0 final score here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi saying so long. Here's a speed threat, Bobby Witt Jr. Out to short, King. Not in time, an infield knock to start the inning. Boogie he doesn't care how he does it. He Base is empty, one away. Ahmad King steps to the plate for the White Sox. Ripped to third and caught. Yikes, that ball was scorched. Man at first, Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. He's 0 for 1. And now the 1. Run around the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Throw. Save. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ahmad King. Liner, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. Run around the goal. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Severino throws to first. King back on a dive. 
Luis Severino, when healthy, he is one of the top pitchers in the American League. When he's going good, he's getting ahead in the count. I love that his mechanics are very simple. Here's the pitch. Rudder goes again. Swing and a miss. Safe at second, and he easily steals the bag. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. And here is Adam Frazier. Here's the pitch. Runner breaks for third. There's a ball. And that's a stolen base. Not even close. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. Wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. Two and one now. Severino just missed. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Severino kicks deals. That misses the zone. Two and one. Two outs and one in scoring position. That misses. Three balls and a strike. Swing and a miss as he was late. Out at the plate. He tries to steal home and that ends the inning. The White Sox leave one, but they still. And here is Anthony Rizzo. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Ball outside. And up next for Chicago, Ahmad King. One for two. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Cordero under this one. And that'll do it. This is what you call taking care of business. When you've got home field advantage and you win the first two games of the series, that's what you come to the ballpark to do. They've worked hard to get to the series. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. And he deals. Run around the goal. Strike in there. Bro, and they got him. You can see they're continuing to try to apply pressure on this pitcher. Ahmad King steps to the plate for the White Sox. Hard hit left side. 
Witt over to first. And one away in the top of the third. Now it's the shortstop, Ahmad King. This one blasted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. Back now in the Bronx. New inning getting started. Now, Ahmad King. Herman back to work. And a big swing and a miss. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And that ball is gone. Just an excellent swing all the way around. One down. And the batter will be the shortstop, Ahmad King. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Cordero has a beat on it. Squeezes it. That's out number two. And here is Anthony Rizzo. And here it comes. And a ground ball to first. Vaughn to second. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. Back at Yankee Stadium. Top half of the third inning. And now the shortstop, Ahmad King. The wind of the pitch. In the air out to center. Cordero under it. Brings it in. And there's one down. Woo. Runner at first with two away. And stepping in is the speedy Ahmad King. Knocks it down. Well, with two outs, I'm thinking he had his mind on getting in the dugout so they could get to hit, and all it takes is just a little lapse in concentration. So now let's see if his pitcher will pick him up. That one fouled off, two and two. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a base hit. Bro comes in quickly as the lead runner at third gets the stop sign. King hung up in a rundown now. And yeah, they put the tag on him. That's the third out inning. Ahmad King digs in now. That's out to center field. Cordero drifts towards it. Drops into the glove, and that is that. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr., one for three. Swing and a ground ball out to short. On the run, throw to first. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. 
Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Three two now. In the air, out towards left center. And that one pulled down by Jimenez. Rounder tags at second. Tag out at third. And that's a double play. So up next, Ahmad King. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And he's got a double. Absolutely punished that pitch. Wasn't fooled in the slightest. 109 off the bat. I think that means you put a pretty good swing on it. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. And now Brett Cumberland fouls one off. Two and two. He is going to sleep well tonight if his team can come through with the win. Two and two. And that misses off the outside edge. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent Swings and misses, struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Miguel Ramirez steps to the plate for the White Sox. And it is two and one. He's got a base open, so the pressure to come in and really attack this hitter, not as great as it would be if the bags were sacked. Mateo, the runner at third. King over at second with one down. And down on strikes he goes. Huge strikeout there. Stuart Fairchild steps to the plate for the White Sox. And a payoff pitch. Bounce to third. Slides. He's got it. To first. And what a play. Ball game. Here's one final look at the line score from this one, Chris. It was a close two-run game, and a couple of key moments just really made the difference. Not much separate. Welcome back. Top of the second. Now the third baseman, Oswald Peraza. Up the middle, King. Tosses to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. And here is Anthony Rizzo. On the ground, right side. And that squirts through. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Back-to-back -back singles. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and you'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Can it. Over to first. That's two. Nicely done. One down, runner at first. Ahmad King will hit next. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Here's the catcher, Sebi Zavala. Severino got him swinging for the K 
Slider got him for strike three. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the second baseman, Adam Frazier. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string. Glaber Torres up to the plate. 3 2 now. Popped up. King moving under this one. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Ahmad King steps to the plate for the White Sox. One for one with a single so far. Here's a swing and a drive. This one headed down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone out of here. That's his fourth. Ahmad King steps to the plate for the White Sox. He's already homered in this game. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Cordero has this one sized up. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. White Sox strand a couple. Here's Glaber Torres. Line drive to short and caught. Nice swing and good solid contact. Up all the smoke, but needed a little. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now here is Ahmad King. The pitch. Swing and a drive. This one is crushed. No doubt about it. And here in the late stages, they have the lead. He sends it out of here. Just like that, they move in front. It's 4-3. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. He hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, well, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. solid division series win they can move on to the next round and I think relax a little bit more congratulations boys get ready for the ALCS
check-in call from a representative. This representative wants his client well informed on important matters. He'll have to try again another time. 